What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video today I'm gonna bring you guys an updated and I'm not actually really too sure if I've made a video like this but I'm not I'm to, to be completely honest but uh, today I'm bringing you guys a video on how to increase FPS and optimize rust and reduce input lag um, so I've browsed a lot of rust videos over the course of a week and read it trying to find the best settings and the just best ways to increase your frame rate on this game uh, so without further ado let's get into the video so for Nvidia users right click on your desktop and go to Nvidia control panel and then in here you're gonna find your, th uh, your 3d settings sorry and click adjust image settings with preview and you're gonna use my performance emphasizing Ch uh, click click that box or that little circle right there and select performance. You're gonna drag it all and hit apply. This is gonna use your maximum performance on your graphics card. Um, and then next in, in your little search bar, you're gonna type in power options. So if you type that in, it'll say choose a power plan and you're gonna select high performance. So once you have that, it's just gonna use as much as it can. Uh, you can just close out of that. So I'll close these two tabs here. So then next, when you go over to Steam and in Steam you're gonna right click on Rust go to properties and go to set launch options now I have Metro for Steam but it's this it's it's the same any other way you can find it in here and in the description of this video I'm gonna have this so you can just copy and paste it or type it if you want and this is just going to emphasize the window um, and it'll basically use as much power to that game as it possibly can because most of the time Rust is ran on full screen windowed which increases input lag and actually has some frame rate instabilities so that's what I have so far um, and this is what I found so now what you can do is just open up Rust like you would and I'll give you guys my personal settings that I love for this game uh, and are actually pretty good Alright, so as you can see, Rust is starting up, and if you saw what it did to my screen, which I'm not too sure if actually my recording software captured it or not, but it locks it into full screen, and the only way to get out is to alt tab or click away on something else, but I but do keep in mind that if you do, it will take one to two seconds for it to close out of this and then go back to something else, and if you open it, it does the same thing. So here are my settings, and I recommend these things to everyone, because uh, I've kind of like I took an entire week of just messing around with settings, finding, and honestly, Rust is, is honestly one of those games that sometimes the higher settings you you get a higher frame rate. It's kind of weird. Like if you turn it all the way down, like it's it's actually using energy and stuff to uh, to like decrease your. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. I I can't explain it. But this is what I found to be the best settings for frame rate. So everything off except anti-aliasing is FXAA. And sharpen on you can have that off but it has really no 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 performance as it says graphics quality you can set that to zero or five I've I, I found five to look nice and I still get really 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 good frame rate so you can either set it to uh, the lowest or the highest it doesn't really matter but I have it at five uh, shadow quality zero no cascades uh, zero max shadow lights uh, water quality zero reflection zero Shader, put that to max. Most people set it to as low as they can. That honestly doesn't do anything. Uh, sometimes people set it to 300, and that does a little bit, but honestly, once you get all the chunks loaded in, you won't have a problem with this being that big. So as soon as you spawn in the server, you're, you're going to load all the chunks and all the terrain, so it shouldn't matter. Uh, so you, you can have that at 600. Draw distance. Do not go below 1500. Um, that's what I've seen on reddit that's what I've seen personally and I can definitely see why because you need that distance for PvP and everything else um, I have it at max just because I don't have a performance hit when I do increase it all the way and honestly there's really no no difference between having it at 1500 and 2500 so just put it at max next is shadow distance put that to uh, as low as it can pa a parallax mapping set to low 
and grass displacement. I put that on so when you run over the grass and there's a weapon or something, you can find it. Tools. And copy everything here. So particle, particle quality is going to be zero. Object quality is going to be 50. Tree is going to be max. Max tree meshes are going to be max. And everything else low. Uh, for physics, max Gibbs, you want that zero. So now if you play on a lot of uh, combat servers or any really heavily modded servers and there's decaying things if you have your max gibbs all the way up you're gonna get chunked and hit hard I'm telling you your your your, your frame rate is gonna be awful so I just set that to zero and it doesn't really mean anything it just means that things breaking around you there's gonna be more so like if you were to break down a stone wall it'd have a lot more particles to it um, and then all this off this is all like experimental and honestly it just decreases your frame rate but other than that, that is the settings that I have for Rust, and I really recommend it to you guys. If you guys have any questions, please uh, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please comment, rate, and as always, subscribe. Bye, guys.